Hello everyone. I'm so glad to be back here making another video, kicking off the new season. For those who don't know me, my name is Cami. I am the host of Harmonious Vibes, and I'm so glad that you're here watching this video with us today. So it's been a minute since I have been back and filmed a video, but life has been lifing um, when it comes to just being in physical therapy school, working, going to church, doing all the things life can get you know busy of course but i am glad to be back here and i plan to be more intentional about posting content alrighty so today's video is going to be a question and answer video i have received a few questions from you guys on social media and i'm going to answer those questions on today if you're not already following me on social media you can follow me on instagram at miss underscore pyt12 and if you have any suggestions for a new ad name, I would gladly take them because I've had this ad name for a long time and it needs to be updated. So let's go. Alrighty, so we're going to get started with our first question of today. I have my lovely handy dandy iPad that I'm going to use to help keep me track um, with all the questions. And so our first question of the day is going to be geared about God. All right. Um, so question number one is, what are your favorite books of the Bible? I really like that question, y'all. And I like hearing other people's answers to this question because I feel like it just gives you a perspective of um, other people's view of the Bible. Um, so for me, myself, my first book that I enjoy reading is going to be John, St. John. Um, that's my favorite gospel. Um, so I just really like just his account of it. I know everybody has their different perspectives. Some people are like, I like Luke and stuff like that. And I do enjoy, enjoy Luke's perspective as well, his account. Um, but I don't know, there's just something about John's account that just really, I don't know, resonates with me. Um, I like how he just points out like um, the one that Jesus loved, like how he speaks of that of himself. Um, because Jesus does love, love us all. And so I like how he does that. So that would have to be my favorite one, as well as Romans. I feel like it just really gives you a, um, a like how to book of like with grace and um, just God and how to steward the gift of grace and learn about God's character in conjunction to grace. Um, so I really enjoy Romans and Paul just giving his his perspective and just what you know the Holy Spirit gave him, as well as Isaiah. I'm currently reading reading Isaiah right now. Um, I feel like Isaiah really helps just to understand God's holiness, righteousness, and also his justice. Um, um, because if you read Isaiah, there's a lot going on with God of like, just, you know, what's happening with the people, their hearts being hardened towards him. Um, so I really enjoy Isaiah and it also to, you know, sets up the scene for Jesus to come in, um, as we'll see. In the New Testament, so I feel like it helps make that connection between the Old Testament and New Testament um, that God always had a plan in place for us. So um, I would say those are my favorite books of the Bible, but I mean, pretty much all of them are. But at the moment in this current season, I would say those three, John, Romans and Isaiah. OK, so moving on to question number two, it is what's the best piece of advice you've been given? Mm. So with this one, um, I tell myself I would give myself the top three um, because I believe there's a lot of advice I have received in life. Um, so just to pick one would be kind of hard. So we're going to leave it at three. First one, of course, is going to be keep God first. I believe that's one we probably heard everybody has heard at some point in their life. Keep God first and you never be last. But just no, just seriously, just keeping God first, um, just referencing Matthew 6 and 33, where it says to seek you first in the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all of these things shall be added unto you. Um, I believe God to be a God of order. And I believe when we keep God first with everything, I think he really, truly honors that um, because it just shows you, shows you where your heart is um, and not to preach, but just like. That has always been an issue at, at him with us as humans. It's our heart not being for God, our heart not loving God, our heart being positioned towards all these other things and making idols of all these other things in the world. So I believe keeping God first really does set the standard 
um, for a life that is um, not only pleasing to God, but also but also fulfilling to you as well. Number two for me will have to be trust the process. That is something I have held on for a long, long time. I think I even put it on like my graduation cap um, in undergrad. I think, yeah, I think it's trust the process. Do I have it? Okay, it might be in my parents' house. But um, I believe it's on my graduation cap is trust the process. Um, but that is something to just truly, truly hold on to in this life because sometimes um, life can get really tough. And you can be going through a lot of things and um, you're you're thinking that life was supposed to be this way, but then life has presented itself in a different way. And it can be very um, disheartening and you can just feel like giving up. But you just truly have to trust the process. Again, just bring it in scriptures when you think about Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for the good of those who are called um, by God and call according to his purpose. Um, love God and are called according to his purpose. I think that's truly something we have to hold on to because it says all things, not just the good things, but also the bad things, the indifferent things. Those things are also being worked together for the good um, so that God can truly get the glory out of our lives. So it's just like no matter what it looks like right now in this current season, keep going. Um, trust that God is working things out, that this is going to be the greatest setup for you. So just hold on to that. And of course, like Philippians 1 and 6, that, that God who began the good work, he will finish it into completion as well. So I believe that's just something to hold on to, trust the process. And then lastly, go where you have been graced. I think I've heard this first from Jackie Hill Perry. And it just really, really changed my perspective on life because um, you're not meant to do everything. You're not meant to go everywhere. You're not meant to be with everybody. And God gives a lot of us a, um, oh, I can't remember how it goes right now, but you've been allotted, um, allotted things in life. You have been given access to things in life. Um, so it's just like, just go where God is leading you to go. Um, that's where you want to be. You don't, you don't want to be somewhere that God has not um, given you permission to be. And so I feel like sometimes we can desire things that God doesn't want for us doesn't want for us to have that could hurt us not because he's trying to withhold anything good from us but because he's like that's not where I want you to be at so I feel that um that 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 quote just really just stuck with me of like go where you have been graced because if I haven't been graced for this it's going to be very 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 hard and life is already hard in general but why make it more difficult trying to go into places where God has not given you permission to go um, so I, I only want to go where God wants me to go because he's going to always be with me in those places. So, oh, yeah. So go where you have been grace. That's number three. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Harmonious Vibes. We hope to see you back next week for part two of Questions and Answers. See you later.